Uh, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the best new operating system I have found for the Raspberry Pi. It plays 1080p videos just like a beast. Um, the only reason I say this is because on uh, the Debian one that come with my Raspberry Pi, um, although it could play videos at 360, it's no better than my laptop really, and so I'm going to show you this new operating system which is it's smooth, sleek, fast, and you can even use it as a server, or hook it up to another server to use as a media uh, player. So right, let's go. Here's the website you want to go to. Uh, it is www.rasbmc.com. Um, I'll put a link in the description. So you're gonna want to go to download, and then here it'll say. Installing on either Windows or Mac. I'm going to choose Windows and you'll click on that Then just download it When you download it Computer respond Right, when you do finally stop the lag This is why I like the Raspberry Pi so much because it doesn't give you this uh, You'll see a file, Raspberry Pi, or I'll put Raspberry in it. Then you'll get to the top file, which will say Installer. And you'll get a little warning message that says, um, This utility tool erases all data. Da da da. Right. And so you'll get to this bit, and now I'll show you the next bit. If you don't have um, an SD card hold slot or holder thing, you can just use your camera, which I'm going to show you now. So this is for if you have a camera. If you want to, ca if you have a camera, what you want to do is you want to go into the bottom, uh, open up this little slot bit, however it may look on your camera. Take out the current SD card. I got a pretty good one there, but I don't want to use it as the thing. And for this video, I'm just going to use a one gig. I think it'll take it. I would recommend uh, a better one than one gig, uh, just because you will get lag if you use a slow one. All right, so now you want to get your connector cable, stick it in your computer, and stick the other end in your camera. Right, there we are. Um, uh, should get some sort of light flashing, and on this, it should pick up. Uh, that's what we play. Three devices or two devices. Now, what you're going to have to do is to track down which one you want. You have to use a bit of logic. Take out the SD card from here. Let's see if I can find it. There. We are. Right. So, when you do that, which one disappears? You may have to refresh it. And when you plug it back in, it's this one, the middle one. 2780. And so now you can just click uh, accept and install. Um, yes. I'll start to get it done. Alright. You'll see it. Now I'll get it all wired up and uh, put the SD card in. As you start it up, you should get the, uh, the Raspberry and whatever thing come up. You may have to wait a bit for a while, it goes black screen for some reason. Still waiting. There we are. Alright. And here's our lovely desktop. And as you see, we keyboard now. 
rubbish all the keyboard. You can use your arrow keys to navigate about. I've already set mine up. And I think this works perfectly. Uh, if we just do a quick look in system info. This is the uptime. Storage. Network. Video. And you can get to see the uh, degrees or whatever the temperature. And uh, what it's working at. Amount of memory, the CPU, all of that stuff. And to get out of that, you just press escape. Uh, there's a lot of music. And you can just um, have to add your server to it. Click add ons. Blow up. Right now. I was going to start off, didn't I? And videos, and then it'll ask you to browse for a domain, and you should just be able to go onto your uh, Windows network and it will give you a work group for your computers, and then you should find your computer in there somewhere in which you can access any of your videos or music. Cool, huh? Right, so I think that's my video. Uh, see ya, like, comment, subscribe, if you agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.